Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I wanted to share with you guys some of the new tools, toys, fun things that I have bought off of Amazon to use when I'm going to cosmetology school this time. So I got three things, they kind of all work together, go together, and I'm going to go ahead and share them with you right now. start off with is this tripod mannequin headstand now I got this because in school the first time I was given in my kit a mannequin headstand that just is one that hooks onto the table and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with those they're totally fine if you have a high up table but I am five seven and a half ish in height and so for me I remember thinking that I always wished it could be just a little bit higher and therefore I've decided to invest in this new tripod. This is a golden colored um, heavy duty wig stand tripod. It's supposed to be universal so it fits any kind of mannequin head onto it and it extends up to 45 inches so that's almost four feet which should be plenty of height for um, someone like me. So here it is, it's very like heavy duty. And then just like a regular tripod, um, very easy to use. Connector can put your mannequin head on it and it can turn all the way around, so 360. And it also goes all the way down to store. And then you can put it straight up or forward, whatever you need to do with it. And then back here is where you adjust the height. And this is all very, very easy to do, I have to admit. Um, except maybe not. It's a little stiff to start with. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not this stupid, but I don't know how this is not working for me. So it extends from here, but you're going to have to like pull it up really, really tough to get out. And then it has this extra piece where you can hook into the holes right here. Um, which is, I guess, just for added stability, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think it does anything because it's so flimsy in there. It's probably, like, as you're working, it's probably going to fall out. Now, the stand does extend to the height that it said it would and everything. It is the tallest height at the actual tip um, where you put the connection for the mannequin head. Um, but I did just want to say, if you buy this, just beware that you might struggle to get this extension, um, to pop out because it took me forever. And like I told you, I just was kind of like, I put this to the side and I did, um, go ahead and try like my mannequin head on it. And you can see this little, this little pin, it does nothing. Like it is not helpful um, I'm not even really sure why they include it just probably for extra stability but the fact that this is like one and a half um, inches like across and very you know thick in diameter um, means that it's already very sturdy and also because the feet are the same it's super sturdy anyway so I don't know that that was a necessary piece for this piece of equipment um, and I'll probably just take the ring off because it's honestly just in the way um, but other than that first impressions this seems like a pretty good stand just be patient with yourself as you try to make it work for the first time all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the mannequin head that I bought. Now this mannequin head is going to be one that is just for styling. It's not real human hair, it's just synthetic. So you can heat it up to 110 degrees, it says. Um, but I'm gonna be like cautious with that and probably mostly use it for learning, braiding, updo techniques like that, and maybe practice cutting as well. Now this mannequin head ran me $15.99 and the hair on it is supposed to be 26 to 28 inches. This is pretty much a standard like um, mannequin head size that I would get on my, all my old ones when I was in cosmetology school the first time. She looks a lot like them. Um, she's long, straight blonde, synthetic hair, but it looks nice and shiny and long and it's very neat in the package, like not tangled. And it actually has a good thickness to it as well. It seems to not have any like obvious bald spots in the mannequin head which is a good thing as I'm like you know just fingering through it it seems like the hair is not um, falling out or anything so let's go ahead and put this to the test on my stand and let's see if this thing is as universal as it says um, 
All right, seems to be. And I'm going to use my handy dandy dress tape measure to just test and see. So we want to go all the way from the top, the crown right here to the end and see if the length actually like reaches 35 inches. So that's pretty darn long. Um, and it said it was supposed to be 26 to 28. And it definitely has some like layery pieces in it. So I would say the shortest layers are like the 26 inch layer. And then it goes all the way to 35 inches in length. So that is accurate to the description. And um, so far I'm pretty pretty happy with this purchase like just for learning how to do braids and updos and things like that I think it's going to work very well um, in another video I will actually kind of do some more stuff with her and maybe we'll test out the 110 degree heating method if you guys want to because I am curious to see if it works just so you know because then if you can use it for a light heat um, it might be worth even more worth your money um, all right and then no um, whole situation like this would be complete without some kind of tool so we can do something to the hair and enter these shears. Now, when I was in cosmetology school the first time, I didn't invest in any shears that weren't the ones that just came in my kit. And the ones that came in my kit were pretty bulky, pretty crappy. I didn't really enjoy them, but I just accepted them for what they were because I didn't know any better. Um, and I hadn't really thought about going outside and trying to find a different um, kind of shear. So really, this was from Googling shears for quite a few different times and just kind of getting opinions on different websites and blogs and things like that. And um, these ones you can actually buy at Sally, but they were also available on Amazon for like two or three dollars cheaper. So I went ahead and got it with Amazon because then I would get my two day shipping because I'm a Prime member and all that stuff. Um, but they are the Sheer Expressions, and they're the Hey Rosie, so they're like a rose gold with pink, like, inlet in the um, finger holes. And they're 5.75 inch Japanese stainless steel, um, 146 millimeter. This is how you open them. So you just come on up through there, and then you can just pop them out. They're very, very easy to open. You guys, it's been forever since I have held cutting shears um i believe i can't i can't remember i think your pinky goes on the little uh tang part right there um but so far they seem like they're a little tight and a lot smaller than the other ones but they also look a lot sharper than the ones that came in my cosmetology kit um so they're pretty small um, look like they'll be pretty good. I'm excited to try these out. I will let you guys know. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to adjust these too. So I'll probably do some adjustments so that they fit my hand better. I have pretty big, big hands to be honest with you. Um, and I need to remember how to actually hold these correctly because it has been a while since I've practiced. So these were my three purchases. Um, these just for reference were $39.95. This mannequin head again was $15.99 and then this stand, which does seem pretty heavy duty, but I'll have to give it, you know, some actual like use before I can say for sure was $29.99. So it wasn't cheap, cheap for all of this stuff, but to just have some extra pieces that I think will get me further and help me along my path will be really good. Um, and then when school starts, I'll be buying my mannequin heads through the school because they're a little bit better of a deal through the school and I'll get real human hair. So I'll show you guys all of that stuff when we get to um, that time. But that is all that I have for you today. Let me know if you guys have questions about any of these items below and I will try to answer to the best of my ability. And remember, if you also like fashion, beauty, pop culture, and all the shiny things, you should push subscribe right now because you're just like me and um, my mannequin head will love you forever. Um, also, you guys should totally vote below Originally, when I was in cosmetology school, I named every single one of my mannequin heads. So, vote below what you think I should name this new mannequin head. I will review them and decide which one I think fits her the best and announce that in my next video. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye. <coughs> Gigi's toy.